going to be working on your weekly uh, reading. And I'm going to be using the Oracle cards this week. And we're going to put some subjects on your reading. Um, I'm going to be pulling the first card for, ins for uh, some inspiration this week. See what animal comes forward to bring you a message about inspiration. Alright, that will be using this deck. And with this deck then, we're going to be um, using this deck for any dreams, for your dreams and goals um, this week that, per that the animal is bringing forward to help you with reaching your goals or um, in your dream or your dreams. Okay. So gave them two quick shuffles. I'll shuffle them once more real quick here. Cut the cards and we'll begin. Let's see what we have here. For inspiration, Aries. Cut the cards. And let's see what we have. We have the raven. It says, listen to your intuition to receive a message from the world of spirit. Um, Alrighty. So for inspiration, you have the raven, which it's talking about, yeah, intuition. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so for inspirations, the, the crow, or the raven, I'm sorry. Um, the raven, when... When they swoop down, um, they have like a four foot uh, span on their, uh, they can have up to a four foot span of their wings. So, and, um, and they are like the magician of the spirit world, the feathered world, I mean. And so, um, you know, they're telling you, the crow is telling you, Aries, for, um, to, for your inspiration this week is to listen to your inner self um, and, that you, and that you should believe in yourself because you know he's the crow or the raven is bringing in a, a lot of uh, a lot of magic to you you know bringing in a lot of a lot of magic for for you to be able to uh, move on and create those inspirations that that you have so um, that kind of sounds like your goals and your dreams as well, but again, the, the raven is just um, very magical, very magical, and wants to tell you um, to listen, to listen to your own self, so um, and stay inspired with what um, on what um, what you're being inspired with this week. Um, it's a good choice, in other words, you know, there's a lot of magic, a lot of things happening in the universe that will help you with your inspirations this week. So let's go on with um, your goals, goals or dreams you have. So for goals for Aries. I almost put the same cards on top. <laughs> you have the koi fish. And on the bottom of the card it reads, There is always enough. There's always enough. So I, I'm taking this as the koi fish is saying, There's always... T there, you, you, you may be rushing around trying to uh, get your goals accomplished or um, you don't believe you have enough time to make this goal, this dream uh, fulfilled or come true for you. But um, the koi fish is here uh, reminding you that, that um, you know, there, there's, uh, there's always enough. There's always, there's always enough. Um, you know, there, there's always enough time. You know, time isn't really, uh, time is just something we humans make up. You know, time is never ending. 
it's everlasting. So, um, well, let's put the put the raven in together with the with the fish with the koi fish here. It's a very uh, powerful um, message for you this week, Aries. You know, do we have the raven? It's telling you to listen to your intuition and uh, to re you're going to be re receiving a message. And uh, the koi fish is telling you there's always enough. So keep your inspirations going and your goals and, um, you know, what you're dreaming of doing. You know, like I said, it's everlasting, everlasting time. So don't give up on your dream, your dream goal and keep your, keep your, um, um, your inspiration, keep your inspirations high fly. All right. Well, you have a wonderful day, and thank you. Please uh, share, like, and subscribe. Bye now.